So, so Jesse James West put out a video about steroid use in teenagers. What? Because apparently that's some sort of epidemic right now due to the internet, the fitness industry in general, and dumb shit ass parents who can't do their job right. So today is my attempt to do it for him. This is Fitness Talking with Kevin. Fitness Talk. Fitness Talking. Fitness Talking with Kev. Yeah. <laughs> Now I don't know about you, but I got my first phone when I was 18 years old. That's also the year I started paying rent on my first apartment. It was the second year that I had a full-time job, albeit a minimum wage one, a girlfriend, and two pets to take care of. And the phone at that time was simply an opportunity to call my mom on the weekend and ask my girlfriend what she wanted for dinner. Ah, but alas, this is two decades in the past and we didn't realize that henceforth the phone would become a monster. An awful monster that was supposed to connect us but actually sucked our lives dry of any physical, social, and spiritual connection to one another and instead made it so that we bitch, moan, and complain about every little thing even though we have it so unbelievably well. What the hell would Grandpa say? And although I appreciate the take that Jesse had on this topic, I have something different in mind. Because it seems to me it's not really the phone's fault that you're addicted to it now, is it? It's not the engineer's fault for making the algorithm, and it's not your friend's fault for sending you that stupid video. And if you're over the age of 18, it's nobody's fault but your own, except for the fact that your dad probably should have said some things to you over the course of your life to not lead you astray. And since your dad was a weenie, it means that you have to hear this shit from people like me. So buckle up, kids, because today, I'm daddy. This is how to talk dad to a teenager who wants to take steroids. You short height, short sighted, short bus, ass hat wearing mother What's the matter with you? Has your brain atrophied from the amount of time that you spend on your phone instead of doing your f***ing homework? Get off the goddamn internet and go do something useful for the rest of the world. Are you so dim-witted that you're relegating everything right now to having a couple of muscles instead of recognizing the infinite beauty and infinite potential in every human life? And you're willing to throw it all away because you think it's gonna what? Get you girls? Newsflash, dummy, girls like guys with confidence. Guys who are happy and secure. And it doesn't exactly speak to confidence and security trying to change your body with drugs so you can get clicks on the internet. You bother me. Are you such a doof to not realize that the rest of the world needs you to grow up to be a man? A man with patience, foresight, and integrity? Somebody that can actually be relied on when times get tough and isn't gonna look for the easy way out? You know, like a child. If you want liver and kidney failure and then clogged arteries, which ultimately are gonna to lead to a stroke so that that girl that you married because you had false confidence over the fact that you had a couple of muscles now has to wipe your ass because you can't function properly anymore for the rest of your goddamn life, which is probably gonna end in five years anyways, you go right ahead. But if you have any sense at all that you're worth more than that, you'll stop with this nonsense, go pick up a shovel and help the rest of the goddamn world, you idiot. What other kids or the internet might want from you right now is irrelevant. You were made to be a protector and a provider. So do what's necessary starting right now and for the rest of your life to pick up the slack and make something of yourself. This has been How to Speak Dad to Teenage Steroid Users. I'll see you in the next one.